man, this is Chili Billy Howell. I'm heading into Clarksdale from Moon Lake, about 20 miles north. I really don't get to town anymore unless I give a tour or I've got something that I really need to attend. I am uh, heading in to go to a visitation for a friend of mine who recently died. And um, I usually don't go to them for numerous reasons and a lot of them hit pretty close to home. Um, anyway, it's um, man, life is a short ride, and I am thankful that I have confidence of where it will end up. For me, after the temple ride's over, based on grace from the creator who always was, imagine that, something always being. You can't top that. And um, not based on my works. And for years, I thought as a Christian that my works were what... Uh, really made me righteous. Well, I'm about the sorriest cat that ever lived. I'm going to straight up tell you that. But I'm thankful to be alive today. I'm thankful for my life, my wife, sobriety, being drug free. But I still got to take it one day at a time. Being an addict to alcoholic is very similar to just walking with a biblical perspective of daily bread. God doesn't promise us he's going to give us everything at once. If he did, I'd OD on it. I promise. It doesn't matter if it's manna. If I was in the White House and had lobster uh, available 24-7, I'm going to kill myself. So I am thankful that God sees things I don't. I don't understand necessarily when people pass on and why. But I do trust that God knows that he is good all the time whether or not we understand him or not and you know people may say well there's so many ways you know man everybody's got their own belief I can't convince anybody of anything any more than I can convince an addict or alcoholic they need help until they know they need help same thing with spirituality you know I think there's enough signs in the universe and and the organization of it and then uh, uh, compulsions of mankind to recognize that we're not the end all, that there is a higher power. We just got to find out who it is, what it requires, and just maybe get to know him. But anyway, I'm sorry my friend has passed on it. It's really affected me this week, and similar to Don Juan's, or I'm sorry, John Don's admonition. Um, he was a Catholic poet and thinker during the Elizabethan age, and his, for whom the bell tolls, it tolls for thee. And when it talks about a promontory on the ocean cliffs falling that you know every man's death just diminishes me and that it does but I'm thankful to know God and I'm thankful just to be in that to be within that hedge cheers and have a good day sending love from the Mississippi Delta